good morning. Um, so it is November 13th. Um, my birthday is on Monday, which is in a couple days from now. And so I am celebrating my birthday this weekend. I don't have a ton to do. And because of, you know, pandemic things, I don't really have to, uh, well, it's not really good for me to be going anywhere, obviously. So I'm going to be hanging out at my house. And today me and my partner went to Barnes Noble, grabbed a couple of books, and we are now going to go up into the mountains kind of by where I'm staying right now. Um, and we're gonna spend the day up there and read for a while, which I'm very excited about. And I figured that I would take y'all along for this weekend of me reading things. Alrighty, so it is like two o'clock-ish now. Um, one o'clock, two o'clock, what time is it? I think it's like two o'clock. Um, we've been driving around up in the mountains for a little while, which has been really nice. And then um, I got my two books. I'm gonna show them to you. My partner got these for me for my birthday. Um, the first book that I ended up grabbing was um, Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, which is the sequel to Truth Witch, which I figure, uh, finished like two days ago. Um, I've been in a really bad habit recently of like picking up a new series and not continuing on with series. And since this one, I'm gonna have more thoughts on it, um, on Truth Witch, but like since in that book, it like doesn't really hold your hand like a lot of info comes up and you don't get a ton of payoff I feel like um I'm hoping that like continuing on with it I'll end up getting more of the payoff from all of the things that I learned in the first book um and then the second book that I ended up getting was The Blade Itself by Joe Amber Crabby, um which I also have not read before but I've heard really good things about it I know it is a grimdark fantasy I've been wanting to read more adult fantasy because I've been reading a lot of YA recently um and I just I, I want I want a little bit more right now so I don't know a ton of what the blade stuff is about honestly other than the fact that it's grimdark fantasy and apparently really good so i'm probably gonna start reading uh this one today uh which i am excited about uh i'm gonna try to get a good hunk of the way through it when we hang out up in the mountains and then i will be heading home all right i am about 50 ish pages now through um the blade itself which is very exciting. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's it's a lot, but I'm enjoying it. Um, we stopped to um, have a quick bite to eat. We packed, packed some sandwiches, and now we are going to uh, run down to the bottom of the hill just to... Um, are you gonna drive away right now? No, <laughs> We're gonna... Um, drive down to the bottom of the hill we, like use the restroom and also grab a like soda or a tea or something down there before heading back i'm hoping to get through at least 100 pages today i'd like to get through a little bit more but definitely at least 100 pages hi everyone so i just got home from the mountains for the day which was nice it was really nice just to be able to like chill out and read for a while i ended up reading i want to say like 130 pages of the blade itself um i'm enjoying it so far there are some criticisms I have on it. I think I would have really appreciated this story if all of the characters were just nicer to women. Um, that's definitely a pet peeve of mine that I have with fantasy, um, especially grimdark fantasy where authors will be like, ooh, it's edgy and it's cool for me to treat women badly. Um, and I can definitely see that as being something that's already present in this story um but I have a good friend of mine who recommended these books to me and he explained that he was like yeah the first book is definitely like that but it gets better as it goes on and it stops being quite so um sexist so we'll see how that goes I'm gonna finish this book for sure I'm hoping it can probably get it done by this weekend maybe maybe a little bit longer I'm also gonna be listening to an audiobook because tomorrow I have to help my mom move some stuff into a storage unit so I'll be working um, pretty much all day, just like moving things. So for that, I'm going to listen to an audiobook. Um, hopefully make some good progress through that. Um, as for tonight, I am simply hanging out with my bird. There's Rhiannon. Hello. Um, and I'm going to be working on figuring out what classes I'm registering for for winter semester. Um, and then I'm probably going to try to read another like 50 pages tonight is what I'd like to do. Um, me and my partner might like watch tv a little bit also um but yeah I'm having a hard time with the blade itself because I think that I really like Joe Amber Crombie's writing style I think that he has a good job of adding prose that don't um take away from the story at all but again not loving how he's treating women I really am enjoying um reading from Logan's perspective 
but he has not been coming up a lot. Like, he's only had a couple of chapters that are from his perspective, and I'm much more interested, like, in his story and why he is the way he is, as opposed to, like, how the little boy prince is doing. I don't know, that might be a weird and mean thing for me to say, but he is just kind of a little boy prince, so I would prefer to be reading about Logan a little bit. Um... Maybe, and only maybe slightly, because he reminds me of the character that I play in one of the D&D campaigns I'm in. Maybe, but, you know. I also, when I was in the bookstore today, I almost bought a copy of Mistborn of the first book, The Final Empire, by Brandon Sanderson. Um, but I didn't love the cover they had. It was, like, one of the small, like, mass market paperbacks. And I didn't love the cover that was there for it, um... I really like the white covers that there are, so I'm going to see if I can find online the white covers. I've been wanting to read Mistborn for a really long time, but I just don't love the size of mass market paperbacks. They're hard to read to me. So, oh, there's Rhiannon, and she's she switched shelves. That's very nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to just take it easy for the rest of the night. I might work on more NaNoWriMo stuff. I have not been doing very much of that, to be honest. Um, this year, as it has been for everyone, has just been kind of weird and hard. Um, and so I haven't felt super inspired to work on stuff like that. Um, I'm probably going to try to continue to work on it. I'm not as concerned about the confines of NaNoWriMo. I think that next year for NaNoWriMo, I'm definitely going to work on writing something new. I want to do something like special with writing, um, and like editing my book. I just don't think that NaNoWriMo is really built for that, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm going to be hopefully uh, editing a little bit more, but it's something that I think will be a longer project that I want to work on, like, through the rest of the year. So the maiden has been adorned with pants, and now she must scream. Ah! <laughs> She's gotta, she's just gotta scream. That's her job, though. Um, I think that I am going to probably, um bring my computer in here and look at what I want to do for winter classes and I'm gonna start listening to an audiobook I'm gonna go pick which one I want to listen to right now and I will update y'all about what what book I want that to be Rhiannon say hi to everyone oh yes important business is happening okay so I know what audiobook I will be listening to I'm gonna be listening to Reverie by Ryan La Sala um I have no idea what it's about all I know excuse my bird hair sorry we have a, a young lady sitting here all I know is that it was said that if you liked Adam Silvera you should read him and I really like Adam Silvera I remember I read um they both died at the end a couple years ago and I was just like hooked on it I just loved that book so I'm hoping that this will be like something fun something light something that's relatively easy to listen to that'll be in good contrast with the like darker heavier book that I'm reading the blade itself Hello, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to include this clip or not just because it is a little bit more vulnerable, I think. I'm having right now some, like, anxiety-induced nausea, um, which happens pretty often to me. Um, I'm not feeling great, so I'm laying down. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock-ish or so now in the evening. Um, I went to work on more NaNoWriMo stuff and ended up feeling kind of stressed out about it. The content of the book that I am working on right now deals a lot with isolation and deals a lot with um, what solitude means and with like the human experience being in solitude with like there being outside forces happening that are causing you to stay in solitude. Um, not written because of the pandemic, a story I've been working on for five years now actually, but um, it still definitely echoes a lot of things that I'm currently dealing with, um, being in isolation because of the pandemic, and it's something that, um, is stressing me out a little bit, and that's something I've noticed in general with, like, the media I'm consuming, where normally I am very into, um, I'm very into dystopian a lot of the time, I'm very into post-apocalyptic, I'm very into things like that. And recently, I've been wanting to read a lot more fantasy. I've been wanting to read a lot more um, situations that are so far from what I'm currently dealing with that I, like, don't draw conclusions from it. Um, and that's going in with, like, what I'm reading, what I'm watching, games I'm playing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I just haven't been feeling inspired to work on my stuff for NaNoWriMo. I, like, want to keep working on that book because I, I like where it's at. Um... 
but I also know I don't want to force myself to edit something because then I won't like fully do what I need to do in the editing process. So I'm going to be trying still to work on it when I feel inspired to, but now I'm, I'm honestly just trying more to get back into the habit and into the practice of writing regularly. So I'm going to be trying to write, maybe not every day, but a lot of days, um, whether that be I journal, whether that be I write poetry, whether that be I work on some short stories I know that I talked about as like a writing exercise, um, rewriting scenes that happened in the D&D game that I play, not to like put them anywhere or publish them, but just because it is a good writing practice because it's storytelling that kind of already happened that I can figure out how to put into a, uh, a written word form. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at with NaNoWriMo. I'm not super happy with how it's going this year so far. I really wish that I would have at the beginning of the month just decided to do a full another draft of something new um but at this point I'm far enough in that I don't want to try to I like just want to have it be done at this point um but next year I'm going to work more on writing something new I have a couple of ideas that I've been like tossing around in my head um but realistically I'm just trying to get back into the practice of writing regularly um but other than that, tomorrow, I'm helping my mom move. We're getting up a lot earlier than I originally thought we were going to, so I'm helping her move stuff into a storage unit. Um, I'll be listening to the audiobook. I got, like, half an hour into the audiobook today. I like it. I'm a little bit confused to what's happening because I kind of was, like, zoning out while listening to it, which is one problem I have with audiobooks. Um, so I'll probably see tomorrow. I might restart it tomorrow honestly, because I didn't get very far in, so I might restart it while I am working on, like, packing and unpacking, um, but other than that, I have here, I'm reading a bit before bed just to kind of chill out and relax, um, I have the blade itself still, I'm, like, 140-ish pages through this now, um, I haven't read very much since, uh, I got home, but I'm a little bit more through it now, which is nice, um, I'm enjoying it so far. I still have the same, like, complaints about it, but I'm getting a little bit more Logan content right now, which I am enjoying. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at, I think, for the evening. So I will check back in tomorrow, hopefully feeling quite a bit better and a little less, um, anxious about everything. But I will talk to you all tomorrow. Okay, hello, good morning. It is, uh, Saturday and, uh, I've been moving things for the last, like, two hours. Um, I have been listening to the audiobook. I enjoy it so far. I'm like an hour and a half into it. Um, yeah, that's really my main update. I just wanted to say hello this morning. Uh, I'm moving things. I'm tired. I'm caffeinated and it isn't helping. Hi everyone. Um, so it is the evening of the 14th. I've just kind of been, uh, hanging out. I moved a lot today, so I'm very tired. And now, oh, Rhiannon is hopping into a box. Hello. Um, I am, you know, just kind of hanging out for the rest of the night. I want to get to at least page 200 of the book that I'm reading. Uh, I also want to do a little bit more writing. I've been working on a short story just as like a little practice, just as something. So I am keeping my creativity fresh. Um, I might draw a little bit tonight too and listen to my audiobook, which is very good so far. Reverie is really good. Um, it feels very nostalgic. It's definitely, um, definitely, definitely YA. Like it's pretty young um in terms of voice in terms of tone but it's really enjoyable also and I think that it makes me feel very nostalgic it feels like something that when I was 13 or 14 I would have been just so in love with um so I am really enjoying that right now uh but yeah I'm gonna try to read at least a page 200 tonight um I had hoped to get a little bit more reading done than I did today but I do feel like I am doing pretty well this weekend uh and tomorrow I'm hoping I'll be able to just chill out and read for a long time. I know tomorrow I'm going to have a very long D&D game because that's what I asked for from my friends for my birthday. I was like, can we add an extra hour onto this so we can play until it's my birthday on Monday, which I think is nice and fun. Um, but yeah, as of now, I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the evening. Alrighty, so I worked on writing a little bit more, um, which was fun tonight. I finished up the first short story that I'm working on. Um, again, these are just, like, fun little writing exercise type things. They're not really for anything. They're not really for publishing. Um, but they are just fun, and I enjoyed writing it a lot. And then for about 45 minutes, I played Overwatch with one of my friends online, which was really nice. 
uh, just kind of taking some time to hang out. Now I think I'm going to go do my drawing lesson. I've been doing drawing lessons online. Uh, I am not good at drawing and I want to be, so I've been taking classes doing that. Um, so I'm probably going to go do my little 10 minute drawing lesson. And then I think I'm probably just going to tuck up and read for the rest of the night unless my partner wants to watch an episode of Game of Thrones. That's what we've been watching recently. And I'd never seen Game of Thrones, which is like, I don't know. I, I'm young. I'm, I, I was baby when that show was coming out. So I've been watching Game of Thrones. Um, so if my partner wants to do that, I might watch an episode or two of that and either play Tetris 99 or I might work on Banner like a banner for my YouTube channel, maybe, because I haven't done that yet. Um, so I'm going to do that tonight, but I'm definitely going to read. I'm going to definitely try to get to page 200 of the blade itself, for sure, for sure, for sure. 200, at least 200. <laughs> Hello. Well, uh, I drew for a little while. Uh, there was a moment when I forgot how to draw like a cube, like a square with a uh, form to it which was kind of embarrassing I don't know what was going on there uh but anyway I am now going to probably make myself a cup of tea and read my book for a little while I'm probably gonna get ready for bed also honestly um but I'm going to read my book for a little while um my partner is playing a video game right now so if he is done at some point then I will definitely watch a show with him but if not I'm probably just going to read until I am ready to go to bed she loves to read. Wow, look at her. Good morning. It is November 15th now. Um, don't mind my lips. They're very chapped today. They're very dry. It is getting cold where I live, and so my skin is not happy about it. Um, but anyway, so today I'm going to be celebrating my birthday, even though my birthday is tomorrow. But I think that today is like when I'm doing like food with my mom and stuff, which would be nice. Uh, I think we're doing cake today. Um, just because everyone's working tomorrow, so we're going to celebrate a little bit early instead. Um, but right now I'm just going to make myself a cup of coffee and then I'm going to try to read a little bit more. I did get to page 200 of The Blade itself, and yesterday I also made it like 39% of the way through uh, Reverie as well. So I'm going to work a little bit more on reading through The Blade itself. I'm hoping I can get to page 300 by today. That might not happen, honestly, because I do have a, like, six-hour D&D game tonight. Um, that might not happen, but I am hoping I can get at least a little bit of the way through that. So, I'm about 200 pages into the blade itself, and we finally have a perspective from a woman, which is, like, very exciting. Um, I will definitely see how Joe Abercrombie continues to write women. Sometimes, like, male fantasy authors will write women in a way that does not uh, sit quite right with me. Um, but I'm hoping that Joanne Bocrombie will do a good job with this. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying the story. I think there are definitely some things that are problematic throughout it, but I enjoy the story that he is telling overall and I like his writing style quite a bit. I went to the store a little bit ago to pick up some things for me to have for dinner. I'm having some charcuterie this evening um, for my birthday, which will be fun. Uh, I have also gotten into a bad habit of scrolling, just looking at stuff online. So I've not gotten as much reading done as I wanted to. I've gotten through about 50 more pages of the blade itself. I'm going to try to read for another probably half hour and then maybe take a break. I'm going to try to get to at least page 300. I'd like to get through more than 300 pages um, this weekend just because I would like to finish this book soon. Okay, so I'm like 270 pages into the blade itself and this is something that I've realized just for me. This is like a personal opinion. In fantasy, I am not a big fan if like most of the perspectives that I'm reading from are of people in power. So like the example from the blade itself is like we're reading from the perspective of like a little boy prince and an inquisitor. Um, and only one of the perspectives really was of a barbarian, of someone who is like more uh, down with the people. Um, even though he was committing like a lot of violent acts and a lot of death was caused by him like he was still like more of the people um, and I just think that's a much more interesting perspective to read from personally I'm okay with some like royalty or government plot lines but I don't like when they overshadow just like everyday lives of people 
Um, so when Pharaoh came into it, I was like, okay, I'm really interested in her as a character. So far, I've read two perspectives of her, and I think that she's really, really interesting. And I honestly, like, don't really understand why Joanne Abercrombie didn't, like, bring her into the story earlier, especially since, like, all the characters have barely started to interact with each other. Um, like, Logan was just brought to where the other characters are, and so I'm like, I don't, don't really understand why he made that choice not to bring um pharaoh into the rest of the story especially since like okay it was 200 pages in and like the characters hadn't really even interacted with each other yet so you definitely could have just added her parts in a little bit earlier um but i am enjoying it i think pharaoh is very cool i i'm enjoying her so far hello everyone good morning it is my birthday today um my partner knows my undying love for zoom academy of superheroes and he made me a like custom jacket from the movie and also got me the shirt um which i love a whole lot it was uh, it's a it's a very niche reference and so i really appreciate that he spent the time to do that um but yeah today i am going to be video chatting with some of my friends and i'm also gonna try to get some reading done i read yesterday to page like 315 ish so i'm hoping i can get to page 400 at the very least um i'm guessing i'm probably going to extend this vlog out like maybe another day or two just until i get uh done with the blade itself but i am really enjoying it so far hi everyone good morning it is now november 17th uh i didn't really update it all yesterday because it's my birthday and i spent most of it like video chatting with my friends and playing games online and stuff so I didn't actually read very much. I think I read like less than 10 pages yesterday, which was not my original intention, but I was having fun, like seeing all my friends online. Um, so I ended up not reading very much. I did, however, this morning read about 30 pages. So I'm on page like 350 of the blade itself. Um, I'm hoping to get to page 400 at the very least today. I'm hoping to get over more than that. Um, but I should be finishing this book in the next couple of days, which is exciting. I was planning on having, like, this vlog only be the weekend, um, but I'm just gonna, I think, continue it until I finish, uh, the blade itself. I am enjoying it. I'm also still listening to Reverie. I just haven't been doing things that I want to listen to an audiobook in the background of recently, um, but I'm about 40-ish percent of the way through Reverie right now, and I'm still enjoying it, um... But yeah, today I'm mainly going to be working on schoolwork. It's mainly going to be a schoolwork day uh, today. I know the end of this week, um, me and my partner are going to be going up to isolate with his family for about a month um, to do like Thanksgiving and the holidays, and then I'll come back to my house for Christmas. Um, so we're going to be leaving on Friday to go do that. Um, i trying to think of any other updates. I think that's all for now. I am still really enjoying The Blade itself. I think it's fun so far. I'm um, looking forward to continue on with the series. I'm also going to be doing the Disney Games Readathon, um, which is going to be in like mid December, which I'm really excited about. Uh, yeah, that's I think where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm going to go and have some lunch real quick and then get back to doing some schoolwork. And then I'm going to try to read another 50 or so pages um, in the afternoon. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to say. For my birthday, what my mom got me was a new bookshelf, which I'm really excited about. So I'll have three of the small ones now. Um, so tonight, me and my partner might like watch Game of Thrones and set that up. And then hopefully at some point this week before I go up north, I will be able to film the... Um, the video that I've wanted to do for a while of like setting up my bookshelves because I have a bunch of books in boxes that I have not been able to put anywhere um and it's funny because I'll like have my new background set up and then I'll be gone for a month and not be filming with it but it'll be there for when I get back which is really exciting um but yeah I'm gonna be setting up my bookshelf tonight just building it and then probably putting the books in it like tomorrow Hi everyone, um, it is Tuesday night, uh, it is right before I'm doing the writer Zoom, which is the virtual write-in that I do, which like, if you're a writer and you're not going, you gotta check it out, the Instagram is in the description of this video, you should, you should come say hi, it's a pretty fun time. Um, but I just wanted to do a little check-in about like where I was with books. Um, today's been kind of a hard day for me, just for like some personal reasons, um, I had a lot of issues with like registering for classes for the winter semester and like 
just all kinds of fun stuff so I was feeling really stressed um so I took a break about halfway through the day and went and took a bath and read another 50 pages of the blade itself um so that's really fun. I am enjoying it a lot so far. I think that there's some interesting things happening within the book. Um, and there there are just some things within it that don't totally make sense. Uh, there's a scene where a character, I don't want to get like too far into spoilers, there's a scene where a character who is from a different like region than where the main story is taking place is sitting at a dinner and it is jumping back and forth between perspectives and there's one part where It's explaining that the man who is not from this area, like, can't understand what the people are talking about because he speaks a different language. And then, and then later on, he's, like, narrating what the people are saying, if that makes sense. Like, he's, he's explaining to the reader what the, what the people are saying and he can understand it now, even though it's still not in the language that he speaks. So there's just, like, some interesting, um... I don't think plot holes is the correct word because it's not really a plot hole, but like technical issues within the book. Um, that's the main one that I noticed, but I'm sure there might have been others throughout it. Um, but still, overall, I am enjoying it. I am kind of bummed overall that like this book is kind of taking a long time to get to the point where like all the characters are interacting with each other. Um, and I'm curious to how they're all going to continue to interact. I only have about 100 pages left, so the fact that like not all the characters that have been introduced in the story have met each other yet is kind of odd to me but who knows maybe they'll they'll not all interact with each other and that's that's okay and it's i'm just expecting something that isn't gonna happen um something else that i'm really enjoying in this book so far is that there is a thing called the contest which is basically like a sword fighting competition that happens um that one of the characters is training for that's not really a spoiler like you find that out at the very beginning of the book um but something that i really appreciate in the book is that this sword fighting contest is not like to the death because I feel like in a lot of fantasy that I read it's like there's a contest and it's to the death and this is just like cool we're just doing like like a like a competition and you know it's not to the death or anything and I really appreciate that especially in a grimdark fantasy that does have a lot of violence in it I think it's a refreshing take on that trope hello um so it is Wednesday morning um I read to page 402 yesterday um and I'm gonna try to finish the blade itself today um I'm gonna read for about half an hour or so I'm gonna try to get I don't know a little bit into it this morning and then I'll take a break do some schoolwork, and then read some more um but yeah that's how I'm feeling right now I'm enjoying the book so far it is interesting now that the characters are starting to interact more there is um longer chapters Okay, so I only read like 15 pages. I kept getting like really distracted and wanting to look at my phone or do other things. I know part of the reason I am so uh, excited and distracted is because um, I made a new bookshelf last night. My partner built one for me um, and I really want to fill it. Uh, Basically, I recently kind of moved back in with my mom for a little while just because of the pandemic. And so I am reorganizing like how I have my book set up. So I'm going to have one bookshelf that's just like stuff and things and not, um, not books. And then two that are books. Um, and I'm like looking at them right now and I'm very excited and I really want to start working on that. So I think I'm going to bring in the rest of my stuff, um, the rest of my books from the car, I mean, and start getting that all set up. Um... I'm very excited. I'm excited to have something to film in front of, and also I just think it's gonna look really good and cool, and I'm excited. I love bookshelves, and I love redecorating them, um, so I'm gonna bring my books in, and then I'll probably do a little bit of schoolwork, and then start working on stuff in here after. Okay, hello everyone. It is like five o'clock. Um, I've gotten a lot less done today than I was planning on. It's one of those days where I like got up kind of late and like didn't get going until kind of late and then all I want to do is do my bookshelf stuff which I filmed um I'll be putting that up probably after this video um maybe a couple videos after but you'll all see that soon um so now I have class in a couple hours I've got class in like two hours so I know that some of my like 
new friends that I've made through booktube which is like really cool because I have not been on here for very long but there are some people that I've been talking to um they're doing a um like read along reading sprint type live stream on youtube in like five minutes so i'm gonna hop on and do that i'm honestly probably gonna end up doing homework through most of it because even if i'm reading because i'm like i'm reading the c's for school so i might try to get that reading done while i'm on um the call with them but overall i'm excited and then after tonight with some of my like other people that i've met through discord um i'm gonna be doing a reading sprint tonight for like an hour and so I'm hoping they'll be able to finish the blade itself tonight we'll see I think I will honestly and then I'll post this this weekend but that's how I'm feeling it's not that I'm not enjoying it it's just a hefty book and I've had like more going on than I had thought I would and like today I sat down to read it and like I was reading it but I wasn't like feeling like I could focus on it so but I am excited to read. Also, please excuse my hair being kind of messy. Um, Rhiannon's been jumping on my head a lot today. So. Hi everyone, good morning. Um, last night I read another 50 or so pages of the plate itself. I didn't end up finishing it. I have literally 50 pages left, so I'm just going to sit down and finish it. Um, I just got really tired. There was like some stuff happening in my house last night where like our dishwasher broke and it was a whole like, it was a whole thing. So the time that I was going to spend reading I ended up like, trying to fix with stuff like that and help with stuff like that and to figure out what was going on so I ended up not finishing it but I am going to just sit down and finish the blade itself um yesterday I set up my new bookshelves there'll be a video on that coming soon and today I started working on an annotating system because I always have been annotating my books of like underlining or highlighting things but I wanted to start tabbing stuff so I could actually find it again so I made a color coding system which I'm pretty excited about but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just sit down and start working on my writing, or my reading, reading of the blade itself. I'm tired still, no coffee, all right. Hi everyone, okay, so I just finished the blade itself. Um, I really enjoyed it. I gave it like a 3.5 out of five stars. Um, there were definitely some issues that I had with it, especially with how like women were treated within the book. Um, I, I have a feeling that it was like a stylistic choice, that women were treated really badly, but I don't think that that makes it better. Um, I liked some of the characters, but the characters that I did like, I feel like weren't focused on a whole lot. But with that being said, I have a feeling this book was pretty much just set up. I feel like it was 500 pages of setup, and the next book is going to get a lot more payoff within it. Um, I am going to pick up the next one. I do want to see where this story goes from here. I am enjoying it more now that the characters are all starting to interact and they aren't just having their own, like, separate stories. Um, but yeah, I end up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think that it could have been higher up. There were just some really misogynistic things within this book that I could tell that Joe Abercrombie was trying to do to be, like, edgy, and I just didn't, didn't appreciate it. I don't know. I think that you can write a society that has misogyny in it without like playing into that just being the way it is um but yeah those are my thoughts on the blade itself I did enjoy it quite a bit I liked the overall general story of it I thought there were some good characters in here especially ones that were like kind of unlikable um I think Jerry McCrombie did a good job at writing intentionally unlikable characters um but I think that that's going to wrap up this video. I appreciate everyone watching. It went a little bit longer than I had originally thought, just because this book took me a little bit longer than I thought it would to get through. Um, but I did enjoy it. I did definitely enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in another video. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye!